Welcome to 5 Minutes 5 Ideas. I'm your host Samanve. Today, we're going to talk about 5 lessons I've learned from the book War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. The War of Art is the quintessential book for anyone that's ever tried to start something on their own. It could be a business, gym membership, or even simply just a diet. The book centers around the resistance which is what Pressfield calls the force that tries to stop us from achieving anything and completing our plans. In modern terms, you could call it procrastination. So if you've been looking for a book to motivate you to stop procrastinating and finish that book, then this is the one for you. The first lesson is that danger is the greatest closest to the finish line. What Pressfield means by that is that when you're close to finishing that book of yours and you're just a chapter away, resistance is gonna hit you harder than ever. You'll hit more writer blocks than than ever before. Pressfield goes on to tell us more about resistance in the form of self-sabotage. Just as you're starting to become comfortable in being able to see the finish line, your overconfidence might actually help resistance get the upper hand. So Pressfield suggests that we're better off being at high alert for the resistance or procrastination to come over us towards the end of our project and never let down our guards. The second lesson I learned is that sabotage by others can also act as a form of resistance. Often the people closest to you, such as your spouse, close friends, and family might come up with tactful ways to prevent you from fulfilling your projects. And that is in part because of their own resistance. As they start seeing you succeed in your artistic or creative domains, your success is a bit of a reproach for them who are battling their own resistance so that's something to be mindful of and help the ones closest to you be more aware of. The third lesson I learned is how to beat resistance by turning pro. Pressfield highlights that the only way to beat resistance is acting more like a professional towards your art rather than amateur. He points out that amateurs play for fun, whereas professional play for keeps. The amateur plays part-time and the professional plays full-time. The amateur is a weekend warrior, whereas the professional works seven days a week. It's easy to see that the professional is bound for success in the long term. Their progress is not dependent on how they feel about their art on a given day. The fourth lesson I learned is how we use labels to cave into the resistance. Over the last 50 years, we've seen a massive surge in the different types of psychological conditions. They can range from attention deficit disorder to social anxiety disorder. Now, it's all fine to have those types of disorders. The problem is when you start using those diseases as labels to stop you from completing your artistic tasks. And it's easy to say why we do that because we're constantly shown those disorders on TV and sometimes even though we might not have it, we might self-diagnose and start using them as excuses. So instead of applying self-knowledge, discipline, and hard work in achieving your goals, we start using those labels as an excuse. The final lesson I learned is what resistance feels like and how it manifests on an emotional and physical level. So firstly, it might start off as a sense of unhappiness, misery, and guilt. And it might even become clinical. And it can also manifest physically. It can manifest in the form of depression, dysfunction, or a sort of aggression. Pressfield highlights the need to be ready for a self-revolution. You need to be ruthless in the way you analyze your emotions and dissect the exact reasons for all of the negative feelings that seem to be inundating your mind. We need to be ready to question all of the truths of the society and the media that we're being fed on a daily basis. We need to unplug from the grid and focus on our art. That wraps up five lessons I learned from the book, The War of Art. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.